Hey there, Red Devils fans. We've got some thrilling updates for you. Please subscribe and turn on notification for daily Manchester United news updates. Fans, who will be the next leader? Sir Jim Ratcliffe's kingmaker decision sparks debate. Eric Ten Hag's approval ratings are at a season high after Man United beat Liverpool to fuel the possibility of another all-Manchester FA Cup final. Omar Barada is poised to have a significant say on a possible Manchester United managerial change in the close season. Barada is due to officially take over as the new United chief executive in the summer, and it is understood he would be the de facto kingmaker on any decision taken over manager Eric Ten Hag's future. Manchester United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe does not want to intervene to determine Ten Hag's fate and intends to delegate to the football expertise of Barada, who is on gardening leave at Manchester City. Barada was City's chief football operating officer until he defected to United in January. The Ineo sporting director Sir Dave Brailsford has attended the majority of United's matches since the Petrochemicals Group agreed to a 28% stakeholding in the club on Christmas Eve. Although Brailsford is conducting a thorough audit on United and sits on the football board, a well-placed source said he will not decide Ten Hag's position. United would prefer that a settled structure oversee any managerial change, but Dan Ashworth's protracted arrival from Newcastle United is not thought to be imminent. John Murtaugh remains the football director, but Ratcliffe glossed over his role in a round table with journalists last month. Ten Hag is expected to see out the season with United after an uplifting couple of weeks, climaxed with a raucous FA Cup quarter-final victory over Liverpool at Old Trafford on March 17. Man United have drawn championship side Coventry in the semi-final, fueling the possibility of a second successive All-Manchester FA Cup final on May 25. United's last Premier League fixture, a win against Everton, preceded a defeat and a draw for fourth-placed Aston Villa and a listless 3-0 loss at Fulham for fifth-place Tottenham. Villa are nine points clear of United, who have a game in hand, and fifth could secure qualification for the Champions League if England finish in the top two for UEFA's season country coefficients. Italy and Germany currently occupy first and second, but five English clubs reach the quarter-finals of the Champions League, Europa League, and Europa Conference League. United are operating under the working assumption Ten Hag will remain in charge next season. The Dutchman has been involved in the planning for the preseason tour of the United States and recruitment ahead of the summer transfer window. Barada cannot officially represent United until the summer, but he has held discreet internal and external meetings while on gardening leave. United are respectful of City, who were described as grown up by Ratcliffe when Ineos approached them about Omar Barada. Again, Manchester United bring in stadium designers as Sir Jim Ratcliffe ponders new Old Trafford. Sir Jim Ratcliffe believes Manchester United have the opportunity to build a state-of-the-art stadium that could house up to 100,000 supporters. The designers responsible for Tottenham Hotspur's new stadium have reportedly drawn up plans for Manchester United as new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe considers the future of Old Trafford. Ratcliffe wants to revamp United Stadium, and designers have reportedly drawn up plans already, which are now being examined. Speaking on the Garrett Thomas Cycling Club podcast earlier this month, the Ineos chief hinted at plans to increase capacity to 100,000. He said, You have got this opportunity if you choose to, to build a completely new ground, because we have got enough space. If you built a completely new ground, it would absolutely be state-of-the-art, world-class, 90,000 or maybe even 100,000, that then provides a platform for some of the big competitions in the north of England. Why do England always play in the south? Why is the FA Cup final always in the south? Why can't the Champions League final be in the north occasionally? Football in the north is just as important as it is in the south, arguably more so, and the people in the North pay their taxes, so why do we have Wembley, Twickenham, Wimbledon, etc. in the South? What have we got in the North? There's a strong argument to build a Wembley of the North. And now, according to a report from the Daily Mail, stadium designers populace have already come up with proposals to renovate or rebuild Old Trafford. The company, according to the report, 
have been brought in by the Glazers, and the plans they came up with are now being scrutinized by Ratcliffe's Enios people. A task force was set up earlier this month to explore the club's options, with former United Captain Gary Neville, Lord Sebastian Coe, and the mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham, all involved. And Neville has admitted the commercial aspect will ultimately be the deciding factor for Ratcliffe. Speaking to Sky Sports, the former England international said, I think everyone knows that it's one of two options, either renovate and refurbish the existing Old Trafford or develop a brand new stadium next to Old Trafford. Every structural solution is different. Until you get into the meat of the work and see what is really brought forward, then I don't think anyone has the answer. That's the reason that the group has been set up, to help answer some of those questions. The work that goes on and the findings of the work that goes down will help form a decision, but it will also come down to the commercial aspect of what will be afforded. We know that a new stadium, well, a refurbishment costs a lot of money, but a brand new stadium costs more. Meanwhile, Manchester United make 21.4 millions of pounds offer for Barcelona Starlet as Laporta lines up transfer sacrifice. Manchester United made a bid for Barcelona youngster Mikhail Fay as they battle Bayer Leverkusen for his signature, according to reports. The Red Devils face a summer of change after Sir Jim Ratcliffe completed a deal to buy 27.7% of the Premier League club from the Glazers. Ratcliffe has already brought in Omar Barada as the new CEO from Arch Rivals and Dan Ashworth looks likely to arrive as sporting director from Newcastle if the two clubs can agree a compensation fee. There are a surprising lack of players who have turned out for both Barcelona and Manchester United despite the incredible history surrounding both clubs. Mark Hughes, Laurent Blanc, Jordi Cruyff, Henrik Larsson, Gerard Pique, Victor Valdez, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Alexis Sanchez and Memphis have all turned out for both clubs, but that is where the list ends. Moves directly between the two clubs have been incredibly rare, but United may now be interested in a summer raid on the Catalan Giants. The Daily Mail report that United are watching Mikhail Fay with a summer move for the Barcelona B talent now in mind. United scouted Fay in action for Senegal against Gabon on Friday and have been on his tail for three months now. Bayer Leverkusen and Inter Milan are also interested, so United will face competition. But let's dig into Faye's career to date and explain why he is so highly rated. Faye hails from Sediou in Senegal, just like Sadio Mane. In fact, there is now a stadium named after Mane in Sediou, summing up his hero status. Marseille, Stade de Reims, and Dinamo Zagreb all had a look at Faye, again and again.